today's recipe is really simple. Take a potato, peel it, and then dice it into some cubes like this, right? You can also take a bowl of peas. It can be frozen or fresh. Add in some water and leave it. This is some cooking olive oil, some garam masala, just normal garam masala. It doesn't matter which brand you're using. It should be good. If homemade, it's excellent. And we use some pink Himalayan salt. The reason I use pink Himalayan salt is because it has so many uh, healing properties. So just take a pan, put the heat on. I generally keep the heat to a maximum. Maximum. I generally bring it down to, once the pan is a bit heated, I bring it down to a medium of five or six, depending on your range. Uh, nine is the highest on my range. Add a spoon of garam masala, one teaspoon, about a heaped one, or maybe two, depending on how spicy you like it. I love spices. That's about it for me. Then, so you're done peeling the potatoes using the peeler, and we have the potatoes with us. We add in the olive oil in the pan. Now, what is the right stage to add the olive oil in? When you kind of get a good smell of the roasted garam masala, you can start adding the olive oil into it. So I'm just gonna wait, just waiting for a nice sniff of the garam masala to come in the air. The reason I dry roast the spices is because it stands out, the flavor sort of stands out in it. And don't worry, just be yourself. If you don't have garam masala, use the spices you have, mix it, blend it. You can use some turmeric, red chili powder, any dry spices that you have, dry herbs, uh, dry spices, kind of dry roast it in the beginning. So the reason why I choose this recipe is because during these times when we are indoors, we need something really simple and easy to cook. I don't want to have a recipe with too many ingredients. I don't want to overcomplicate things. And I just want to keep things really simple. Like that funny slogan, you know, kiss, keep it simple, stupid. So just following that. And in this recipe, you whether you have potatoes, carrots, you can choose any vegetable you like and add it into this. And it's going to give it a very wonderful taste. And it's minimum effort, keeps you healthy, since given the fact that you're all the time indoors, maybe not working out enough. And keeps you full as well. And you're eating a lot of veggies in the process as well, which gives you a lot of roughage and helps you feel good from the inside. Right. Wow, the garam masala smells really good. So that's there. If you're allergic to spices, avoid smelling it like I just did. We add in some olive oil to that. You can also add onion and garlic at this stage if you like. I just prefer my food without onion and garlic sometimes because it creates so much heat in the body and when you're indoors, you don't really need that sort of heat. You want to feel light and comfortable. And the properties which onion and garlic have are medicinal. So in many parts of the world, they're treating as, treated as medicines and not actually vegetables or ingredients to add flavor to its use really less in food because of that reason. So just kind of making sure that all my garam masala is mixed in with the olive oil. I like stirring on the pan. Do you as well? It kind of makes me feel happy and you know, making some numbers, letters, or making some patterns, maybe some hearts. <laughs> okay. At this point, I would like to throw in my potatoes. So adding all the potatoes to it, making sure my heat is to the medium, on a medium flame. You feel the potatoes are getting fried and getting crispy. I added about two tablespoons of olive oil. Uh, you can choose to add a little less as well. Olive oil is healthy, so it's fine. It makes your skin look good, keeps you healthy, fresh, and fit. 